Hi foodies, we're starting off this delicious recipe with softened butter and minced garlic. The next thing that's going in is minced scotch bonnet pepper. Yes, some Jamaican green scotch bonnet. Lots of flavor there. Not too much heat though. So then we're adding scallion. Just mince it finely. Put that in there. And then I have some fresh thyme leaves. If you want to know the quantities for the ingredients, always check the description box below the video, okay? Right here, I have a crushed up seasoning cube and some lemon pepper seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you like here, okay? But I just wanted to try the seasoning cube to see what it would taste like in this particular recipe. Now I'm adding black pepper. You can use some white pepper if that's what you prefer. All you need to do now is mix all of this together. This recipe is so simple, but it's absolutely scrumptious, I tell you. All right, so just mix all of that together. And no need to refrigerate, okay? Let it sit at room temperature. So today we are baking the salmon. We're going to be putting it in parchment paper though. So get a sheet of parchment paper, fold it in half. You know, you want to get a size that's big enough for whatever piece of salmon you're using. This I got from a box. So of course it just keeps rolling up, but that's fine. We'll work with it. Um, fold your paper in half. And then we're going to be cutting out a hard shape or oval or a half circle. Just cut around, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. You'll see here the fold is on the left. And then we're going to cut around this side here where the opening is. If you check your cupboard and you realize that you're out of parchment paper, fine. You can use some aluminum foil if you're comfortable using that, okay? With the parchment paper, it just holds all of those juices and it makes the salmon so nice and tender. So once you have your shape cut out, then you can spread on some butter or a little olive oil if you want to. You could now add some slices of zucchini or onions. You could add peppers and then lay the salmon on top. I'm just going to be using lemon slices and I'm going to lay the salmon on this skin side down. If you want to, you could do several of these, but I'm going to be doing it family style. So I'm just using a big piece of salmon right here and everybody will just serve themselves from this. The salmon was pat dried, but I'm going to pat dry it again and then just smear that delicious butter mixture all over. So what's going to happen is while it's baking, guys, the flavors, that butter, it's just going to melt down into the salmon and flavor it. And it's going to be so tender and juicy. It's going to flake very easily. It is so good, guys. Can't wait for you to, to just try this out. If you don't want butter, you could use olive oil, but I prefer to use the butter. I haven't tried it with olive oil yet. This is so good. Now I'm just going to top it off with some slices of lemon. And now we're going to fold it, guys. So just fold it over like that. Make sure there's enough room at the edges and then just fold right here because you want to seal in all those juices, all of that flavor. So make a fold kind of like a triangle, then make another on top of that triangle and just keep going all around the opening until the whole thing is sealed. Then we're going to be baking this at 350 for about 20 minutes because this is a larger piece of salmon. You might be able to do less time if you're doing, you know, those smaller individual portions. So 20 minutes at 350. 
when it comes up it smells amazing you'll see all that butter and all the juices trapped inside let it sit for about three minutes and then you can open it up once you open it up it will still be warm and it's gonna smell so good especially because of the lemons and all that garlic it is so good guys this would do well with some steamed green beans or broccoli and some mashed potatoes or even roasted potatoes maybe some corn oh gosh it is so good remember to spoon all those juices all that butter all over the salmon before you serve it and you can serve this in the paper or put it on a platter but trust me you're gonna enjoy this i loved it guys i don't think you understand the struggle like doing this voiceover like my mouth is watering like the salmon was so flaky and juicy and tender like look at that amazing please give it a try asap thanks for watching bye bye